Make sure you have room, guys. This is one of my, my second most prescribed drill. It's called rapid fire. All right? I want you to watch first. I am going to swing several times in a row. I just want you to watch my feet. There's, just watch my feet. Ready? Watch my feet. I'm going to go here and bring it back. Look at left heel up, right heel up, left heel up, right heel up. Notice I am moving a little bit of linear between my feet, right? And a whole lot of rotary. See how he's actually bringing the bat back too? This is hitting right here, gang. This is hitting. I'm going to go a little bit of forward movement, a whole lot of rotary. I'm turning 90 degrees, belly button here. Belly button here. Watch my feet. It's almost like right heel up. Remember we just did the ignition? So the left heel is off the ground. When it's time to go, that left heel hits the ground and the right heel comes up. All right? So right now, everybody, I want you to take five swings in a row. Swing it forward. Swing it back. Ready? Go. Swing it forward. Swing it back. Yeah, nice. Feel the rhythm between your feet. Go back and forth. Take that back foot. Oh, you're getting, you're getting, a little slippery on this, isn't it? Good. Now bring it back. Don't jump at it. Stay back. Stay back. Larry, where are you? Stay back. Yes. Yes. Good, Larry. Good. Come on. You can do it. Let's go. This is the best drill. What are we working on here? Balance. Everybody feel balance? Yeah. All right. Are we doing rotation? Yeah. Is there a little bit of linear motion? Yeah. Right? You're moving forward a little bit, not a lot. All right. We're also the obliques. Both sides of the obliques are getting their work in, right? Everybody got it? Great drill just for mechanics. Also just for, you know, we tend to, we're right hand or left hand to work one oblique a little bit more. It's a great idea of leveling out, evening out the swing. So that both obliques are getting used. All right, we're not done yet. Let's go. It's conditioning too, isn't it? Let's go. Here we go. Five more. Now, watch me. The next thing I want to talk about is intensity level. All right? There's a couple couple hitters that this is important for. When I, I finally went and took a golf lesson, and I finally went and took a golf lesson, and the guy told me, I want you to hit this pitch and wedge at 25%. So what do you mean? I swing hard all the time. All right. So he had me hit a couple at 25%. And then he said, I right, hit this one at 50%. All right. Okay, go ahead and hit it at 100%. You know what I mean? So right now, I want you to think about your intensity level. When you swing, it was one of those questions on your sheet. When you swing, how hard do you swing? On a scale of 1 to 10. I need you to tell me how hard you think you swing. Put it in your head. Do you have an answer? All right. If it's how many people think they swing at 10? Hard as they can. Only a couple. All right. Larry, yeah. That's not good. All right. Again, 10 is not good. I, I use the analogy of listening to your music. All right. A great soon comes on. All right. Uh, a great tune comes on, crank it up, right? We turn it up. What should we turn it up to? One through ten. Seven or eight, right? Oh, now we're jamming. We're jamming. What happens if you go all the way to ten? It gets distorted. The windows are vibrating. The neighbors are calling the cops, right? Nothing good happens at ten. I don't want you hitting at ten. I don't want you hitting at ten. I want you hitting at about what intensity level? Seven to eight. Seven to eight is where we want to be. Do I want you hitting at four? And you're going to go anywhere, is it? All right, so now on this drill, here's what we're going to do. I want you to go forward at seven, and I want you to come back at four. Ready? Watch me. I'm going to do five in a row. Ready? Here we go. Seven, four. Seven, four. Seven, four. Four. Keeping my balance, turning my hips, all right, and working. Here we go. Ready? Seven and four. Careful. Ready? Go.
Go ahead. Do me five, seven, spin. That's a three. Spin. Atta girl. Spin. Turn the hips. Good. Beautiful. And keep your balance while you're doing it. Good, Teresa. Seven. Bring it back at four. Seven. Bring it back at four. This is a great drill to help you build a little back speed as you get better at this. Maybe you get to a day where you can battle up to eight. That was an eight. I want you aware of your intensity level. I want you aware of it. All right? We want to work between seven and eight. Everybody got it? This is the first part of a great drill. All right, I need you to part the Red Sea for me. We're going to take it to the next level. Alan, I need you here. You're going to feed my tea. After you've done that, V. I'm going to get these belts because we're going to use this. All right, you're just going to, guys, are just going to leave me a fair way. I get it. Six. Six or ten. Ten. All right, everybody watch. You know why I like that drill right there? Because it works a lot of things, right? Balance, rotation. You know when you can do it? You know when else you can do it? How about in the on-deck circle? How about in the on-deck circle? Can you do it? You don't need any props. So instead of over here shooting the shit with the person sitting in the stands, give me a little bit of rapid fire. Get yourself loose. Get yourself ready. All right? Now, here's a drill. The next step we're going to do is rapid fire off the tee. All right? Alan's going to feed five in a row for me. I'm going to swing. I'm going to hit it. Bring it back low for him so I don't clip his hand. I'm good there. Put four in your hand. All right? Now, here's my intensity level again. I'm going to hit these up the middle. All right? So now I can take that drill and go a little bit farther with it. So here's rapid fire off the tee. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay? I think that's five hits in a row, right? First one may have been an out, but the others were pretty good. Five in a row, all right? Where now I'm actually, now I've engaged what other parts have I engaged? My eyes and my hands, right? All right, everybody got that? Notice my intensity level going forward was a little better than the ones going back. All right, here we go, one more time. Wow, you got any oxygen in this town? <laughs> All right. But focus on my feet and how balanced I am. You don't see me falling all over the place. All right, ready? Here we go. Okay. Balance, stretching and working the oblique. All right, now we're going to take it another step farther. Are you loose or you want me to do it? You can do it. All right, so I need five tosses in a row. After T work, then we go to what we call what? Soft toss. Now I'm going to add another variable. Off the T, the ball was sitting there pretty for me, wasn't it? Now Alan's going to toss the ball. We're going to do a little bit of soft toss. Let me get my breath. I'm going to hit five in a row on soft toss. I've never bad. seen Alatana give a bat up that quick in my life. Alan also knows his limitations. When he's not loose and he goes to do this, it's not good. <laughs> he knows his body. Yes, All right, so when we do soft toss, soft toss is you're going to – you can. I want you on a knee. He's going to be out in front of me a little bit. When he tosses it, he's going to toss it towards my front hip. What happens if he tosses it towards my back hip? I get hit in the head. He gets hit in the head. He's going to throw it out here into my contact area. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit, bring it back. When I get back, he's going to toss me another one. We're going to do five in a row again. Huh? We're good. 
it or you can use a net. Yeah, if if you don't want to go chase the balls, you'd put a net here and you just hit it into the net. Yes. Good point. Oh yeah, or you can protect him. Yeah, he trusts me though. All right, ready? This is like William Tell. Now the toss is just as important. Go ahead. Yeah, he's a pro. The toss is just as important. What I get some people, they try to turn soft toss into a softball drill. And they do this, throw it up high. I don't want you doing that. That makes it very hard. Now you're hitting the ball that's dropping straight down. It's, it's a regular old soft toss. He's going to toss it to my hip. All right? Just watch my balance. All right? And here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. I got it inside on him. I tried to hit five screens in a row, but... Okay, everybody got that? I'm getting a little winded, all right, because of your Colorado mountain air. But that's three stages to one of the best drills that you can do for yourself. All right, we call it rapid fire. Got it? Don't start with soft toss. Start with just you not hitting anything. And then advance to the T, and then you can advance to soft toss, all right? Everybody got that? All right, come back in. Woo! How about a hand for Coach Bob? Golf clap, golf clap. All right. We've done it a time or two. And here's the, you know, how many people watch Major League Baseball? Raise your hand. Colorado Rocky fans? Woo! Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. That's like me being a... Hope you enjoyed the rapid-fire drill. I highly recommend it for all senior softball players at any level. There's an extended version of this clip that we took from the Pikes Peak Region Senior Softball Camp in June of 2024. I'd like to thank Alan Tanner, Veronica Shaw, and Tanya uh, for joining us and all the great people that attended the, the clinic. It's our fourth time out there. Great people, great country, and hope to see you on a field soon.